into stealth mode. Open up D9. Uh, that is something hostile. Can't tell what. Should we try Sonic? Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, we've got a big problem. Um, I don't want to lose Haley. Drone 2 was disabled. So we're back with part 5 of our Duskers Let's Play. We haven't died yet in, in this playthrough. And I was actually just checking out the Steam forums and it seems that there isn't actually an ending to this game, which I, I guess uh, people have different opinions on this. I quite like this, that it's just about trying to see how long you can survive, kind of similar to the survival mode in The Long Dark or other games like that. Um, but what we did see last time is that we the ship is currently deteriorating, and that is going to cause some issue uh, because we're going to have to find a new one. Now, I see that the propulsion... Propulsion seems to be finished, but it says plus two, so we can still travel to at least one more ship here. Uh, this one I decided to skip last time because it's going to... Well, it's got two infestation types. This one we visited already. So let's go back to the galaxy view and see if we were to go to this system. Now I forgot... I forgot how to check out the system before we actually go there. Is there a way... Oh. Okay, so apparently if you press enter, that makes you travel over there, but whatever. Now we can see what's going on here, so we'll, uh, we'll get back to the system. Now the question is, is there any way for me to see which of these would potentially be a ship that I can salvage and use? This is a trading post. Um, I've never visited the trading posts before. This is a fuel depot. Uh, which could be useful, but I don't think we need fuel right now, so we can just continue salvaging that. This is a Stargate, which I think if I start a new game, I'll try out the Stargates, but for now, because we're doing okay on this run, I'm just going to keep going for a bit. Space Station A. Uh, this is another fuel depot. And another. F no, this is another space station. And this is a salvage ship. Okay, so we can't see how many infestation types are in this one. Um, so we've got a bunch of fuel depots. Oh, but I guess uh, we can go and all of these have two infestation types. And that might just be the, the fact that we're traveling deeper into the galaxy here that triggers that. This one we can't see how many it has. Now that could be good or bad. And mm, it's a tough decision. So either we go for this one, which will use up all of our propulsion, or we go to one of the fuel depots where we know that. Or we can go to this space station actually. Uh, we don't know what's in here. Midnight's Hope. Is there any? Both are volatile. Actually, that I always forget to look at this. All of this is volatile. I wonder if we want to... I'm reconsidering what I said before. Let's go check out this Stargate, because it doesn't seem like there are any particularly good options right now. So, uh, long-range scanner has ceased to function. Okay, so if we jump... Is this the system that we're currently in? And this is potentially a destination system. Oh, so this is where we can move around in the universe. Well, I guess that means we're going over to Sparta. Since I haven't jumped before. Oh, okay. So we just jumped into a different galaxy. And this is the system that we're in. Let's see what's around here. Oh, this worked out okay. So we've at least got more than one ship that we can go to that has only one infestation type. It's a good place to start. This is a salvage ship. 
I want to go to I want to go to the salvage ship because I want to see if we can repurpose this as our own because we know that's going to be our next priority is to find another ship so that we can keep on surviving. So we are going to head over here and uh, we'll board the ship. I think the way that we have set up these drones is fine for now. So we'll just get straight on board the ship. I haven't found any communication so far. Uh, let's see. So, okay, there's a drone that we can go and pick up. We know that there is going to be a hostile entity in here somewhere. Um, so we should go into stealth. Uh, be ready with the sonic. There's a scrap here. There's a generator. Another locked door. So this is pretty safe for now. Um, let's gather all. And then we'll get this drone out of the way and get John in here to power up the generator for us. I need to kind of park him out of the way so that I can potentially squeeze past, if that's possible, with the other generator. And uh, first order of business is going to be to take care of, the, or at least tow out that other drone. So I'm going to go back into stealth mode. Open up D9. Uh, that is something hostile. Can't tell what. Should we try Sonic? Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, we've got a big problem. Um, I don't want to lose Haley. Drone 2 was disabled. Okay. So if anything, what I did in using, I wonder if I wonder if I should try to get that drone back. Uh, we can try to get two drones here, but that door D nine, I think, is open now. Let's go and dock in A two. This might be the beginning of the end for me. I might make things worse here, but on the off chance that we can get things under control, we don't have a generator. That's one of the problems. Um, I'm going to go back into stealth mode and see if there's anything I can do here. If this thing comes aboard our ship, I think we're going to have a serious problem. Did I close that door? I think I did. There's a terminal. Okay, so the bad news is, I think we've lost John. Uh, I don't think we're getting John back. The good news is, we can at least solve, salvage one other. It's disabled. got a generator and a teleporter. I think I've got a spare generator, so we don't have to go and salvage this drone. Uh, the only real benefit is we'll get the teleporter back. I never use that, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tow this one in. And then out of all the spare drones we currently have, we'll repair some. Uh, but the biggest problem we have right now is other than prying stuff open, I think there's another way for us to get around the ship. But I've never tried pry, so I do want to try it out. But we're going to be extra cautious now. We'll close that up. We'll try to pry this open. Oh, you have to specify so pry 3 d6 is that nice um, okay well I'm gonna have to bring Haley back because we still want to use stealth for this so the downside of prying doors open but I do think I may need to cut my losses here, is that I can't close them again. 
But at least we got some fuel. And even if we can just get the fuel, that would... I'm not sure if I would say it made the mission worthwhile, because we did lose one of our drones, but... Yeah, okay, I think this is worthwhile. Then we'll head back, so uh, navigate 1 and 3 back into R1. Let's check in on 2. So whatever this creature is, is now feasting on our drone. But it's okay. Uh, I think that's it. We can uh, we can wrap up this. Warning: Lootable drone detected that can be salvaged. Tow back to docking bay. Yeah, I, I guess it does need to give you that warning. But in this case, um, there's no easy way for us to get to that, and we'll we'll lose more drones um, in the process. So we're gonna have to cut our losses. Got a little bit of scrap and a little bit of fuel. I think the problem is that the scrap that we have is not going to be enough to put whatever other drone we put in here into any sort of decent condition. Um, so, yeah, let's see what we can do. So we need to get our generator drone back, and I'll I'll use maybe Jill for that. Uh, I think this one's got the most potential. So we'll put Jill up there. Uh, we'll have to go and fix it. We go into modifications. Now oh, we can actually get this one to full health. So that's nice. It's going to take a lot of scrap, but it's probably worth it. Well, I've got to say with those organic uh, hostiles, they it didn't really seem to matter how much health I had, or maybe it's just because I, there was really nowhere left for me to go. Um, but okay, then we need to go back to the drone config and outfit this. So we need the generator. Uh, what else would be useful? Probe that will explore rooms. No, I don't think so. Oh, and I see the sonic modules damaged as well. Let's go and see how bad this is. 20% chance of failure. It didn't seem to work all that well anyway. And this is also damaged. Let's see if we can fix some of these. Um, so if I go back to the modifications. Repair. Ship. Upgrade slots. I'm not sure exactly what this does. Uh, Pry, I do think we want to fix this, but we don't have enough scrap. And okay, so there's not too much we can do here. Uh, I think we're just going to have to move on to the next ship. So we're definitely not going back to this one. Uh, what else do we have here? So this is a fuel depot, three types of infestation. That doesn't seem safe. Uh, this one is a space station. This is volatile. Oh, we can't actually travel here. The problem with these, so we only have one infestation type. That's good. But it's volatile. It's very old. And, well, we're going to risk it. We'll bore it here. By the way, is there somewhere where I can see how long we've survived so far? Just have a look. Not over here. Go and config. Objectives. Just want to see what the current survival time is. Hmm. No idea. Okay, well, uh, let's just go ahead for the next one. So we have Jill now to operate the generators, and we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully we don't have to deal with another organic threat. Uh, the hostile drones are so much easier to deal with, especially if you have the cloaking. 
to be fair, I did use the Sonic and maybe I didn't need to, and it's because uh, I'm gonna have to do this experiment at some point where I just drive up to one with my cloaking enabled to see if it attacks me. And that might mean sacrificing Haley in the, in the process, but there's just no other way for me to find out. And I, I really wanted to uh, play this game without going to the wikis and, and just figure stuff out for myself. Got a generator. This is a long corridor. Another door. An open door. Drone. Okay, so we can come and tow this one out. At this point, we can disable this stealth. I think it will be easier to go and redock at A10. Uh, actually, let's get uh, drone one back to R3. We'll open up A10. I can't see any hostiles just yet, so we'll tow Nathan in here. That's done. Uh, Haley, um, let's gather whatever this is. Just check if this door is open or closed. It is closed, uh, which means that so we have the generator in Jill. So we'll send uh, Joel up to R2. Then we'll close up A10 for now. We will close D50 when we can, but Joel would first need to operate the generator. Great, so now we have power. We'll close this up. That gives us a bunch more to explore, so we're going to get straight into that. Back into stealth. Doesn't seem to be any anything useful in this room. I may regret saying this, but I uh, I saw a video where somebody argued that this is the worst horror game that he's ever played, and I guess each to his own. Like I'm not gonna say like it might be that that person experienced it like this, but I definitely wouldn't say that. It's no doubt it's tense. Um, it is one of the more tense roguelike games that I have played, but. In terms of horror, I don't think it's the worst I've experienced. I recently played Dying Light, and if you've ever played that game and you get into the nighttime, that is way more terrifying than this. Uh, even though you can see the monsters, or the, the zombies in that case, it is definitely more a uh, more terrifying experience than this. So far, um, not much useful in these rooms that we're going through. But I think what's terrifying and what constitutes horror is different than what constitutes tension. Uh, those things are slightly different, and this is definitely tense, there's no doubt about it. The fact that the camera feeds fail from time to time and you're not sure why, uh, this game's got a lot going for it in terms of tension. Let's close it to 25. Okay, we need to recharge the stealth a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we've mapped out a decent amount of this ship. I've got to say, it feels so far like we haven't discovered that much, really. Um, and I don't know, because I I don't think I can power R7 right now, but it could be that if we go through 
or D27 that we may be able to get to another generator there uh, that could mean exploring the rest of the ship so we'll go and have a look Yeah, so we need to get in here, open up D27. Now we know that there is an infestation, we haven't encountered it yet, which means that uh, there is still something out here. Every time I see this red, it freaks me out a little bit, uh, even though it's just a terminal. I would love to get the interface module. I haven't come through D31 either, I guess. Lost the video signal. I didn't see anything come at me, so I think we just need to wait for this to be reacquired. Um, I don't want this to hold me up, and the ship is unstable, so let's not waste time. I'm going to open up D31. We'll go into stealth mode. Shit, what did I just hear? Okay, this seems dangerous, what I'm doing right now. Let's uh, disable stealth. I did hear a movement. Um, we'll get Hal to come and check it out. Just make sure that nothing malicious made its way in here. This is where the tension in the game comes in, because I legitimately couldn't be sure. Alias video uh, feed is still out. Okay, it's just been restored, so Hal can get back in here. Close up this airlock. Uh, we will go back into stealth mode and open up D31. This is where the other generator is. Okay, amazing. So, uh, can disable the stealth. What we need is for, we need to open a path first, and then we need to get drone 2 to move over into R9 so that he can power that. And we'll redock at A12. Okay, that gives us a, a lot more to explore. Uh, we'll start off by going into D22, the next corridor right in front of us. That's fine. Okay. Close up D22, which means we're not putting any other drones at risk. Still in stealth mode. These are small rooms. Uh, okay. You. Shit. It does seem to be following me. I just can't be sure. I can't be sure if it's. Okay, there's another drone in there. I think we need to try and lure this thing in here. Uh, what else do we have? This has lure pry. This has a motion sensor. That's going to help us in this case. I don't know, if I activate the motion sensor, can I still activate the generator? Yes, perfect. Uh, I want to get one out of this room. And then we're going to try to get whatever hostile thing we currently have in R10 to come into R11. So as soon as that lights up, we close that door and then we can get into D43 and we can also go and rescue that, uh, that stranded drone potentially. So, well, first things first, just in case there is anything else in here. 
I hope that was the only hostile entity on this ship, because that means we've kind of dealt with it for the rest of the mission. Can gather that. Great, okay. So you go ahead and gather that, and then we'll open up A12 and we'll get our potential asteroid collision in eight minutes. We might be gone by the time that hits, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, how you go ahead and tow Rick. Uh, actually, I'm just going to let you go by yourself. So over to R1. And we will continue exploring. Okay, so there's also something in this room we haven't We'll close up A12, we'll close up D43. Close is a corrupt command. What do you mean? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, I've never seen that happen before. Man, this game is a lot deeper than I initially thought it was going to be. There's quite a lot that can happen. Close up T35. We can't close any doors anymore. Okay, we're going to have to be careful here then. Um, I wonder if this is the point where we need to kind of call it a day and stop exploring. Still have some stealth. Because of course the problem is that if something does get loose now, uh, there's really nothing else that I can do about it. Now the question is, is whatever is inside D16 hostile or not, but I, I have no way of knowing, so I can't take the risk of going in there. I think we need to wrap this one up. We already recently lost another drone. We don't want to do that again, and I already think that we have gotten enough from this one to so how can stop towing this. Yeah, because we got two drones already. We really don't need to get a third. Uh, so we'll just get Joel to come back out. And we'll exit. Now, I don't know if the fact that it's a corrupted command is just for this ship, or if that's something we're going to have to deal with. Okay, we've got 46 days survived so long, so it's like a month and a half, not bad. Uh, a little bit of scrap, a little bit of fuel, uh, but I think the real... We, we got two drones and one has turret sensor and probe we'll check what those are shortly uh, but this was a pretty good haul again and again we're going to need to scrap some of these so uh, let's first to gather is always useful to have a spare on then we have interface this is super useful and i definitely want to get that on one of my other drones so since i don't really seem to be using sonic well, okay, interface, maybe I want to put that on Hell. Because this is a useful command to have. I've been looking for this for a while. Uh, turret, what does that do? Arms or disarms drone turret? I guess that would work on hostile drones as well, in which case this is pretty damn useful. Um, but I'm not going to use it because when I deal with the hostile drones, it seems that when I'm cloaking, they don't seem to attack me, so... Uh, continuously scans a room for threats. Oh, you can drop a sensor that does that. That could be useful as well, uh, but we're not going to use it just yet. And then we have more probes. Uh, and I'm going to need to scrap two of these drones to make space for more, and to get us some spare parts. So we'll go back to modifications and we'll get rid of Nathan. Uh, 
and we'll get rid of brick as well. I guess it doesn't really matter which. So convert this into scrap as well. That means we've got plenty of scrap to to work with right now. And just see repair ship upgrade slot. Schematic view. If the ship's schematic view starts going out, this will repair it to a Okay, um, I guess the fact that we can repair this means that there must be something wrong with that, and it, it could be what was giving us that error towards the end of this, so I'm just going to try this out and repair this. That's probably a good use of our scrap. It would be good to get the long-range scanner back again, but for now... We'll need a little bit more scrap, so maybe if I can get a few more drones that I can scrap. Um, yeah, but so far not too bad. Uh, a month and a half survival, and we've got a lot of good equipment for the drones and sufficient amount of drones as well to keep going for a bit. We just need to get more scrap. So I will end this one here. Uh, if you do like this, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you for the next video.